Hello YouTube, welcome to Black and Girl, I'm your host Doug here, with your video blog for Halloween night here. Sorry, I stopped broadcasting. Alright, I'm back. So, uh, big news today, definitely, I want to talk about Tony LaRusso retirement announcement, and then I'm going to dive into the new BCS standings. Not too much has changed, but we're going to talk about what one loss team has a good shot and stuff like that. So let's start off with Tony LaRusso. Tony LaRusso announced his retirement today. According, he announced it today. He's done after 33 spectacular, spectacular years of managing. Um, I was really surprised by this, and I have a theory too. Um, hold on a minute. Alright, so I have a theory regarding this. I feel that with the retirement of Tony LaRusso, the Cardinals should be more worried about the return of Albert Pujols than ever before. This move by LaRusso retiring could be a move because he knows that uh, Pujols will not be back in a Cardinal uniform next year. So he's getting out of there. I don't know what's going on here. He, he retired after 33 years of managing. He won three World Series, 35 behind second place John McGraw. So he's third on the all-time wins list. He won a World Series with Oakland in 1989, St. Louis in 06, and of course St. Louis this year. So, what does this all mean? This means there's another vacancy open in the National or in Major League Baseball for a manager such as hmm, who doesn't have a job right now? Terry Francona. Will Terry Francona have a shot to take the Cardinal job? And is this a job he would want? He's going into a place that just won the World Series off of a team that had a debacle at the end of the year, struggling down the stretch. So, I mean, there's a lot of interesting, interesting things that's happened. Two things I think will happen. Terry Francona will not be the manager of the St. Louis Cardinals. And one more thing, Albert Pujols will not be back in a Cardinal uniform after La Russa is gone. It could be a chain, chain reaction either way. I don't know if he was going to be gone, and then they decided, then La Russa decided to retire, or if it's going to be La Russa's gone, so Pujols will be gone. That's going to be very interesting to watch. I think that could be a leading, a building block towards Pujols' exit. Just Let's just think about that for a little bit. Pujols not in a Cardinal uniform. I think he could be in a Cub uniform next year. Theo Epstein looking to make one big move as he just went over to the Cubs. So I think he could be looking to make a big move. All right, so that's why I got Antonio Russa. I think it's a little sketchy, but I do think there's just so much crazy stuff going on. All right, now I'm going to shift now to the BCS talk. Top three teams stayed the same. LSU, Alabama, and Oklahoma State staying in their spots for now. Uh, the team that I think, the team that did jump, Stanford jumps Boise State to number four. Boise State is still getting one first place vote every week in the AP poll. That is very, very interesting. Texas A&M and Texas Tech had dropped out of the AP poll this week. And Texas received some big, big time votes. Texas is not back in the AP poll yet. They are in the BCS though. So now, now the discussion has to be, what is going to happen with the big, what is going to happen with the BCS? All right. Let's look at the BCS as it currently stands. LSU, Alabama, two best teams right now. But one of those teams will lose Saturday night in Alabama as they take on each other. So just put that down. LSU, Alabama, one of those two teams will lose. So let's, get, let's look a little inside of this. Let's say LSU loses. They finish off the year. Home Western Kentucky win. At Old Miss win. Home Arkansas. Or Home Arkansas. If it's away at Arkansas, I say Arkansas wins. They're home. They win. So they went out. They're, they're, they'd be a one-loss team. Now let's go to Alabama and see what Bama. Let's see what Bama's finishing schedule is. If the saw saying that these teams are going to run the table after. All right, this team has an easier track. They go at Mississippi State. That's a win. Home against Georgia Southern. That's a win. At Auburn. That's a win. So I think both team, whichever team will be at one loss. The other team will be at one loss. So if Alabama wins, LSU is going to be a one-loss team. 
and but Alabama will get the nod in the Big 12 in the Ace SEC championship game. And they'll be probably playing a Georgia or a South Carolina at this point. It's looking like Georgia, South Carolina. That could be a good game coming on the stretch, too. All right, so that's what we're saying. The winner of this game is in the national championship. All right, that's what I got. So I got LSU as the best team. LSU it will win, and they'll be the number one team. Let's dig in a little further. Oklahoma State, I think they lose in the Bedlam game to Oklahoma, making Oklahoma the best one-loss team on the board. If they knock off Oklahoma State, last game of the year, Oklahoma is the best one-loss team there. Boise State is just going to be lingering there. Boise State's going to run the table. Stanford, eh, I don't know what Stanford is. Stanford is more than likely going to run the table as well. So right now I'm looking at, we're going to finish with LSU, LSU or Alabama, one of those teams will be undefeated. Oklahoma State won't be. Stanford will. Boise State will. And Houston will. So we're going to have four unbeatens, two non-automatic qualifiers. So right now, if I had to pick a national championship matchup, I would be picking LSU versus Stanford. LSU versus Stanford for all of it. And then, and then, I got Boise State. Boise State, an undefeated team. They're not going to be playing at Houston. They're not going to do that. Boise State is going to finally get its shot in a big-time SEC team. Boise State, Alabama, Sugar Bowl. Mark this down. So what I got so far for you. It's LSU versus Stanford for the national championship. Alabama, Boise State. That's going to be your Nokia Sugar Bowl, your All-State Sugar Bowl. Then, then, we're going to see... Hmm... Because then you still have Oklahoma State, but if, if I'm at, I have Oklahoma State losing to Oklahoma. So I'm thinking maybe we're going to see a Houston-Oklahoma matchup. And, and probably the to Tostitos Fiesta Bowl. That'd be a great matchup. Houston, either Houston-Oklahoma or Houston-Oregon. If Oklahoma State does not run the table. If Oklahoma State runs the table, they're going to get in a national championship game. And then we're going to get to see Stanford taking on Boise State as a possible Pac-12 matchup for the future if Boise State goes there. So, that's all I got for my YouTube video. Thanks for watching YouTube. We'll be back on Wednesday with another video. Check me out. Subscribe to me. I'm up to 11 subscribers now. We're getting a lot more views. Subscribe to me. Leave me comments, questions. I'll answer them on the blog live. Thank you for checking me out. I'm